Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 16.4. Now, believe it or not, it's kind of crazy to think that iOS 17 beta 1 is about five months away as of the filming of this video. So Apple will most likely start shifting their attention and most of their software resources to prepare that major update coming later this year. However, it looks like Apple is still planning another major update for iOS 16. So today we're taking a look at iOS 16.4, a quick preview of some of the features that Apple has yet to deliver for iPhone with iOS 16 that we're expecting with 16.4. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, of course, iOS 16.4 aims to bring a few handful of features that many users are still waiting for. For starters, the home application and the home kit on iPhone will get an update with 16.4. A new architecture will be pushed out by Apple to improve a lot of the issues and compatibility and stability issues that many users have reported. So expect a new update to the home kit and the home application with iOS 16.4. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, some of my home pods around the studio here sometimes act up kind of weird. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this improvements that we're looking to get with iOS 16.4. Now, another thing that we're looking forward to is advanced data protection continues to expand. Believe it or not, there's still places across the world where people don't have this feature, and Apple will continue to expand advanced data protection with iOS 16.4 across the world. Now, one thing that I'm looking forward to with iOS 16.4 is iMessage contact key verification. Now, this feature is one of those features that not everyone will probably need when they use their iPhone but if someone does need it you're gonna be happy to know that your iPhone can do this now iMessage contact key verification allows you or tells your iPhone that someone is trying to eavesdrop into your conversation so for example if you have a friend that you're constantly talking to and let's say his account has been hacked and they're trying to use that friend's account to talk to you to get information so eavesdrop into your conversation so if someone hacks your friend's account and tries to contact you acting like like they're your friends your iPhone will tell you hey a weird device that isn't typically the device that your friend usually sends you message from is messaging you ask your friend if he did get a new device and this will tell you if someone is trying to eavesdrop and you can actually tell your friend hey it looks like someone has access to your Apple ID which is an awesome feature something that I didn't think about could happen Apple did of course with iMessage contact key verification so this is something that I'm looking forward to let's take a look at one of the features that Apple has sort of kept push them back and that is Apple Pay Later. This is a feature that we're looking forward to with iOS 16.4. Apple announced this feature to be coming to the iPhone as early as iOS 16.2, but they kept pushing it back. We're now on iOS 16.3. So yeah, Apple Pay Later is one of those features that we're looking forward to alongside Apple account savings. So if you have an Apple account, an Apple card, you'll be able to have a savings account with your Apple account here as well. So Apple Pay Later and Apple Savings is something that we're looking forward to with iOS 16.4 now one thing that we've been talking about for months here on the channel we thought it would be with iOS 16.2 or coming with iOS 16.3 but hey we can hope to see this with iOS 16.4 the custom accessibility mode is one of those features that we've been talking about hopefully Apple will push this one out with iOS 16.4 you'll be able to customize your device and personalize it to your needs with iOS 16.4 hopefully if we get custom accessibility mode within the software and those about a handful of features that we can still expect with iOS 16.4, which in my opinion is the last major update, keyword is major update to the iPhone before we move forward to iOS 17 beta one later this summer, maybe June time frame as per usual. So of course we can expect iOS 16.4, the first beta to be dropping as early as January the 30th today, or we can still see Apple drop this next beta for iOS 16.4 in the next couple of days. So we'll have to wait and see, of course, once Apple releases the first beta, I'll be covering it here for you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the next major update, 16.4, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.